Hey everyone, we are 2 a.m. That's two assholes on a microphone. My name is Turk. This is Crystal, and today we're going to be reacting to Ghost by Ryan Upchurch. We were looking forward to this since we did that last church video and he gave us that little snippet. Yeah. So, you know. Also, we have a request, but I can't remember who it was. I believe it was Sean Rhodes. Sean Rhodes? Okay. No, shout out Sean Rhodes. Time. <laughs> time. Time is everlasting. Time is behind you for thousands of years and in front of you for thousands more. Yep. We are the marks in the trees, footsteps in the woods, the ripples in the water, and the whispers in the trees. Hell yeah. Our souls will one day lurk over the everlasting legacy of what we left behind for somebody else in the far future to stumble upon in a miraculous timing. Here today, done tomorrow. But one thing is for sure, we are upon, and one day will be, ghosts. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, To a t Wait a minute. That music behind it, it kind of has a blue grassy feel. Oh yeah, it definitely has a little feel of that to it. It puts me in mind of Sherry Austin in the 90s and a couple others. I wasn't really big into bluegrass, but this is cool. Hip-hop rockin' to a ticking exhaust like baptizing creek water, copper heads at my feet. Slithering hits him, but they ain't gonna bite me none. But I'll stake venom drip. Back a minute. <laughs> yeah, hip hop rocking to a ticking exhaust like baptizing creek water, copper heads at my feet. Slithering hits him, but they ain't gonna bite me. Copper heads at my feet, slithering, but they ain't gonna bite me none. No, but I'll stake venom dripping off the bullets in my gun. Bob got a quicker from the tobacco up in my gun. Porch lights flickering cause the ghost filling my buzz. Hill clicking in the country of place, you'll never find with a mean rock while it's blackberries on the vine. All I smell is muddy water, honey, suckles and deer me. All I smell is muddy water, honeysuckle, honeysuckles, and deer meat. That's home to me. Mm. Well, at least my old home. It's, that's when you were a little kid. When I was little, that's my meanest. That's that's what I remember about. When I was it makes young. me think of your uncle and your cousin deer hunting in November and doing all that. So. Yeah, um, yeah I'm not gonna say his name. Come here. Muddy Water has made me Mr. General Ely. Yep. <laughs> that is, I believe, in his bloodline. I, I believe he is related to him, yeah. Dear me, cheat him, counting in my veins, dirty water has made me that rebel flag junkie, Mr. General Ely, with the voice of the mud, strong Harvey the Dick. Okay, he's singing low here, so it's hard for me to make out what he's saying. So I'm going to go back so she can try to catch that. For Trees release the ghosts to the ones who lost their souls. Oh, that's beautiful. Right? It's like a bit of poetry. A little bit of T.S. Eliot. Mm-hmm. Son, I'm priceless. Bone stock. Oh, Camaro. When I'm in it to be a legend, give a fuck about the narrow. My shit play when I'm six feet in the ground. A hundred years in the dirt. Still bumping my sound. Why you <laughs> That's the goal, isn't it? To be yeah. remembered well after you're gone. Yeah, that's the goal of everybody. And I think he is creating something that... Well, for most of us, it's just, you know, wanting our families to remember and carry on our traditions. But mm -hmm. with him, it's that plus some. Yeah. He's wanting Fuck to make a bigger impact on the world. 
Yeah. By the narrow my shit play when I'm six feet in the ground, a hundred years in the dirt, still bumping my sound. Why you dead to the run of fire? Why you sipping the shine of tailgating with your buddies, puff passing the fire? Simply chilling, watch <laughs> Tailgate with your buddies, puff passing the shine. Mm-hmm. Now, when I was a kid, it was whiskey, not shine, but, you know. Well, that's because we, that's because you weren't down, down south where he was. Mm-hmm. Why you dancing around the fire? Why you sipping the shine of tailgating with your buddies puff passing the fire? Simply chilling, watching the slow, changing the times. Think about me every time you start that fire. Oh, I just want to say I love the atmosphere of this song. Oh, me too. Snakeskin boots till I dance with the devil. Poor country with a finish and rapping in heavy metal. Snakeskin boots till I dance with the devil? Is that what he said? I think, I th I think he said because he's dancing with the devil. Go back a bit. Snakeskin boots till I dance with the devil. Yeah, no, dance on the devil is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Back to this. Snake skin boots till I dance on the devil. Born country with a fetish and rapping in heavy metal. Hey, Junior and Pantera, Allison Trey. Born country wrapped in heavy metal. Mm -hmm. All right. He's done that, yeah. Transmission with a change in the back lane. Slightly a spitting and dipping while writing and rapping the Confederate state. Until I'm down in a hole. I'm the rooster man. Yeah, here I come. And I'm rapping for Dixie. Ain't none of you motherfuckers ever gonna evict me. <laughs> That's for sure. Ain't none no. of you motherfuckers ever gone to evict me. They they tried to get him out of it. They yeah. tried to smear his name early on. They tried to make him look foolish, make him sound foolish, and he's just showing them all. Oh yeah, the, the ones who made him try to make him look foolish, uh, like Screwface. Screwface got owned hard. Yeah, and Screwface is a good rapper in his own right. Oh, absolutely. I'm not going. I'm not taking anything away from that. Just yeah, he, he didn't do well against Ryan. No. Here I come, and I'm rapping for Dixie. I ain't none of you motherfuckers ever gonna evict me. <laughs> Like I said, that looks like a place that I've actually been to. I really like the wooded area. It makes me think of when I was a kid and when I was a teenager, I spent a lot of time out in the woods and a mm -hmm. lot of time out by the river. And I did that a lot when I was a teenager. Me and my buddies would go out there. We, you know, called them the death trails and things mm -hmm. like that. And we'd go out there and, you know, destroy shit. <laughs> I was usually out there catching something. Um, Oh, we usually brought stuff down there. We didn't destroy anything that was na natural to the woods. We'd, we'd bring shit down there to blow up. Yeah. Michael always had M80s and stuff like that. With me, it was more crawdads and fishing and, you know, catching stuff, gathering stuff in the woods, going mushroom and doing all that sort of thing. But it, it's a beautiful thing. I wish more kids had experiences like that nowadays yeah. but most kids nowadays just stay inside mm -hmm. even small town and country kids just stay inside yep. as long as they as long as there's wi-fi available they're good mm -hmm. 
I, I feel like we've traded entertainment for experience, and we need to find a balance in that. But in any case, I really love this song. I thought he did a really great job with it. Oh, absolutely. I, like I said, I love the atmosphere and the tone of this song. It's maybe a little too bluegrassy for my taste, no, but I, I still enjoyed it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have this on my playlist. So. <laughs> well, like, share, subscribe, leave us a comment, let us know what y'all thought. Be blessed, y'all. Peace.